Na, na. Uh, we have at least every day from 5 to 20 migrants uh, arriving uh, asking for help to uh, reach uh, uh, to reach other countries uh, France uh, England uh, Germany Holland uh, Belgium Uh, now we have a lockdown, it's difficult to travel even for us, uh, so we try to provide them tickets at a reasonable price, at the right price, uh, uh, because smugglers uh, would, uh, would take them a lot of money for tickets that could cost 20 euros, it could become easily 100 euros. Uh, and uh, especially uh, we provide them with a certificate that they are on the move because they are going to the borders trying to make their way to, to other countries. Example, you filmed those 29, the same night we had 20 more coming in. Uh, mostly they are Sudanese and Eritreans because uh, Baobab Experience is known in the Sudanese and in the Eritrean community mostly. Uh, and uh, we, we do the best that we can to, to help them, especially since, as you can see, it's, it's a cold place, uh, they don't have a shelter. Uh, we really try to make them move as fast as possible because it's not uh, human, it's not uh, right to keep them on a sidewalk of a, of a big city like Roma. Why did you leave Sudan? Because there is some difficulty in Sudan. We are in war. We are in some uh, problems in Sudan. Embarrass us to immigrate to Libya, then to cross Mediterranean Sea, then into to Italy. Yes, Europe. We can uh, live in peace. I'm not worried, uh, I'm in peace, I'm convinced myself to reach in uh, Geneva. authorities are uh, maybe I can say kind of happy that people from here go away as you can imagine you know it's always it's like uh, when you put uh, the dust uh, under the carpet and uh, just not to see it I mean if they're not here they don't see it if they're not here there will be uh, a problem uh, for for others and not for uh, not for authorities here <laughs> 